Dr. Tara Swart, a leading neuroscientist, best-selling author, and podcast host, is bridging the gap between science and spirituality in a beautiful way. In a recent episode of the Know Thyself podcast, she delves into the true nature of self and the world around us, offering insights into the power of neuroplasticity, manifestation, and the importance of authenticity. Dr. Swart emphasizes the idea that every experience, memory, emotion, and encounter shapes our brain, molding our neural architecture and influencing our perception of the world. She highlights the significance of raising awareness of our repeated thought patterns and underlying beliefs as they play a crucial role in shaping our identity and influencing our ability to manifest our desires. One of the key concepts Dr. Swart discusses is the idea of magnetic desire, which refers to a strong aligned desire that encompasses the head, heart, and gut. This alignment is essential for achieving one's true potential and living an authentic life. She emphasizes the importance of identifying one's purpose and dreams, reconnecting with childhood aspirations, and aligning one's desires with personal authenticity. Dr. Swart also delves into the concept of neuroplasticity, explaining how the brain forms new neural pathways through neurogenesis, synaptic connections, and myelination. She emphasizes the importance of deliberate practice and accountability in the process of rewiring the brain to align with one's authentic desires. Furthermore, Dr. Swart discusses the role of interoception, the understanding of the body's internal state, and its impact on self-awareness. She also explores the idea of extrasensory perception and the potential for intuition to exist outside of our neurology, shedding light on the interconnectedness of the mind, body, and spirit. Dr. Swart explains that chronic stress leads to the release of cortisol, which can erode our immunity and hinder our cognitive functions. This can ultimately affect our ability to attract and manifest the life we desire. She highlights the importance of managing stress through practices such as mindfulness, meditation, and spending time in nature to reset the nervous system and boost resilience. In addition to stress management, Dr. Swart emphasizes the role of physical and emotional fitness in the manifestation process. She encourages individuals to prioritize adequate sleep, nutrition, hydration, and regular exercise to support neurogenesis and overall well-being. By taking care of our physical and mental health, we can create a strong foundation for manifesting our desires. Dr. Swart also addresses the balance between being and becoming, highlighting the significance of gratitude and celebration of successes. She emphasizes the importance of aligning our current state with our ideal life, acknowledging that the gap between the two can lead to unhappiness. By practicing gratitude and celebrating achievements, we can shift our mindset from a state of lack to one of abundance, creating a more joyful and fulfilling life. One of the key takeaways from the conversation is the idea of manifestation. Dr. Draft Swart explains that manifestation is not just about positive thinking, but it also involves taking action and creating a clear vision of what one wants to achieve. She emphasizes the importance of gratitude and being present in the moment rather than constantly seeking happiness in future achievements. Dr. Swart also delves into the concept of the hedonic treadmill, which refers to the tendency to constantly seek rewards and happiness in external achievements. She shares research on lottery winners and the diminishing impact of successive rewards, highlighting the importance of gratitude and reflection on one's current blessings. The conversation also touches on the topic of the human brain and its potential. Dr. Swart addresses the common myth that humans only use a small percentage of their brains, explaining that modern neuroscience has debunked this idea. She emphasizes the importance of exploring different ways of thinking and tapping into one's full potential. Furthermore, Dr. Swart discusses the relevance of indigenous wisdom and ancient traditions in modern times. She shares insights from her conversations with indigenous individuals and experts, highlighting the importance of connecting with nature, practicing creativity, and embracing gratitude. She also explores concepts such as reincarnation, near-death experiences, and terminal lucidity, shedding light on the potential of consciousness beyond the physical body. The conversation also delves into the pineal gland, often associated with the concept of the third eye in spiritual traditions. 
Dr. Swart explains that while the pineal gland is often linked to spiritual concepts, its significance lies in understanding its potential role in meditation and spiritual practices.